Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Gundam EZ8 Weapons Rack or WR if you prefer. A unit that I quite have a fondness for. I uh, started watching the Gundam OVAs and one of the first of them was War in a Pocket and a MS Team. So this unit is a 350 cost ground only support with a ballistic resistance of 16, the plus ones from the upgrade, a beam resistance of 11, and a melee resistance of 11, which is pretty decent at this level. A range strength of 32, and a melee strength of 8. A movement speed of 110, which is nice, and a thrust gauge of 45. For parts, we have close range of 11, medium of 10, and long range of 9. The unit's got a fairly well-balanced uh, stat array. For equipment, we do have an option in the range department. We have the 180 millimeter cannon, which I think is pretty good. Which staggers, has good range, does decent damage, but you could also take the missile launcher. It has half the range, um, it does pretty comparable damage, and about the same amount of ammo. Then you got the Beam Saber Enhanced Prototype. It's a Beam Saber. We have head and chest mounted Vulcan, so you can get even more DACA. Then we got the ground Gundam, or the Gundam ground type beam rifle, which is actually a super nice uh, sub weapon to have. It's charging, it has good range, and does pretty decent damage. And the 100mm machine gun, which is better Vulcans, effectively. And of course, we have a Ground type shield modified. It's a medium shield though, so not as great as if it had a large shield, but that's how it goes. Then we got high performance radar level two, high performance sco scope level two, observational data link, personnel radar level two, leg shock absorber level two, and shield tackle. In terms of support, there are better more flashy supports that have eh, more capabilities but this is probably one of the most well-rounded and if you have a team that can support this unit this unit can do some real good work it can keep the firepower going it can follow up and it's not exactly a slouch at least compared to a lot of early raids in the uh, speed department so it's a good unit that has a lot of uh, range capability and it can really keep up some fire I just happen to really like how it looks so let's see how it does in the match to come hello everybody welcome to the match uh, it had been dinking around with a couple suits and I realized I didn't think I recorded anything for the weapons rack version of the EZA so here we go this is a pretty well balanced suit as things go in my opinion um, I like it, but there are better suits out there. Really depends on your uh, team composition and aggression. Aggression. Ooh. So we're gonna go ahead and push past that since we got a teammate taking it. We're gonna move up to the hill because I want to see what the other team does. And we have the uh, the newer gun cannon on our team. We're gonna take a pot shot at that guy. I think we took a shield, but. It's enough to back him away for a little bit. We see this guy. We're going to overcorrect our shot. Back down. And we're going to zoom in. Pop a shot into his leg. And we're just going to try to stall them out a little bit. We're going to miss with that shot. But we're going to get his shield. There we go. And uh, we're going to get into a bit of a mess. Because we have uh, a raid peeking over there. We're going to overshoot there. He's going to decide that he doesn't want to play that game. And here comes death. We're going to get a shot on him. We're going to charge up for a shot. And we're going to miss. <laughs> Not that it would have helped us, but it would have made me feel better as we stun him. I should have just got him with a standard melee, but that's how it goes sometimes. So we've been knocked down, shot. He's going to continue moving around us. We're going to shoot a little early, take a shot into his legs, move a little bit. 
and I'm just gonna overshoot him again. And there's not much I can do. He's just gonna shoot me to death, and there's our first death. So we're gonna pop over here at B. We're gonna put a, a bit of artillery out in support of our guys. We're gonna aim for number four. I suspect he will uh, just kind of hang around, so we might get a little bit of damage on him. So we're going to jump over, and believe it or not, that is going to probably be our only death of the match in the EZ8 support. So, oh, there we go. I thought we'd get someone. It's too uh, tempting of a place to hang out at times. So we're going to charge our beam uh, rifle and get to moving. Uh, we see fours having a little bit of a problem, so we're going to fire. Uh, oh, <laughs> undershoot. Hit the guy on the shield and open up our team to do some damage and take him out. Now we haven't done too much uh, in the unit so far, but we're gonna try to maneuver up and get a little bit more active in the uh, direct support of our guys. So we're gonna come over here, we see their support go by. We're gonna take a shot, hit the guy that was spawning in, bravo miss our beam saber shot we see a guy over here we're gonna jump back a little bit because the suit does have a decent amount of maneuverability take a missile to the face switch over to the beam rifle i don't know go back to 180 and we're gonna come in and we're gonna take advantage of that unfortunate guy we're gonna aim a little low and uh, we're gonna miss her shot there <laughs> Don't worry, we're not going to fuss around with him too much. He's going to come up here to get a shot. We're just going to take him out there. He's gone. And I wasn't sure where to go at this point because they're all crowded around that little spot, but I didn't really want to jump down off my little perch and, well, get murdered by a raid. So we're going to come back, uh, reposition behind our team because that's just a smart thing to do. And we see the raid there. Having an idea where he is is always a good thing. And we see there's a bit of a fire. It's the uh, cavalry type. We're going to pop that into him. Pop that into him. He's going to roll out, but not without 4,000 odd damage being taken off of the unit. He's going to prance around here. We're going to get another shot at him. Another shot at him. And we're not going to quite finish him off before he bells out. So we're at the halfway point, effectively. We're going to fire a little too early. But we're not doing any good here, so we're going to go ahead and move up in support of our team. We see... who's that fighting? I don't know. Um, well, we're going to switch over here. We see the raid. We're going to give a little bit of support, or try anyways, as we pop some shots into him. He's going to try to roll out and die. There we go. We got him back for killing us. And uh, let's see, so that's two kills. And we're going to go and push a little bit with our support friend. Get a little shot with that beam. Keeping as mobile as we can because this unit does not play well being too stationary. Now we don't want to get too aggressive because they have uh, some support fire coming in. We're going to fire a shot into him. Wait. We're going to miss because we keep pushing our shots a little too far. He's going to get taken out. We see the raid behind us. We're going to catch him with 180. Pop a uh, beam rifle shot into him, and he's going to maneuver away from us. Turn around, catch him. We're not going to ever connect to this melee attack, but we're going to open up four to be incredibly hostile. So we're going to keep pushing um, as much fire support as we can, firing in there. I don't want to get too aggressive, so I'm just switching between the beam saber and the 180, and I keep accidentally going to the dang um, head Vulcans. I don't know why, but we're going to use them a little bit here. Fire in, help take out the support, fire, catch him on the move, and we're going to keep going in. We're going to keep pulling our shots just a little too much as we get a hit from the side. We're going to follow up this GM, I forget which GM model it is, put a couple of shots into one guy, and we're going to keep maneuvering around behind them, uh, letting our guys keep their attention. He's going to bell over here, and we're just going to take him out. Uh, apparently no one wants to pay attention to us, that's okay by me, we're going to fire, 
and we're going to finish him off with the uh, beam rifle. There's our uh, raid friend. We're going to help gleefully take him out. He's gone. And fire. Now we, we do some pretty decent damage. Not, not one big source of damage. So you're going to end up rotating a lot as uh, we take him out. I don't know why number two felt that he needed to absorb all those shots, but I'm sure he's a loving, caring individual. And we're going to fire and hit the guy who just spawned in. And we're going to do a little bit of pushing over here because I'm uncomfortable with the number of suits we have. And, uh, you know, I'm less useful to them and more of an easy kill as we catch the uh, <laughs> Gelgud Marine type of a couple staggers. And one good thing about him is he wasn't going on his booster, so he couldn't really just uh, ignore my stagger potential. He's going to move over there. We're going to miss both our shots, three of our shots. And he's going to turn around and remember we exist. We're going to fire a shot into him. We're going to fire another shot into him. And then we're just going to do this, and the match is over. Let's see how we did with our big gun. Or technically a cannon but anyways there's our victory pose and well we didn't get any board spots with third place and seven kills make sure you me bye bye